I can help repair your equipment. Are you looking to have your equipment repaired? Everything one requires, one will find in the concourse market. Weapons, armors, and healing implements. I was one of the first to settle in Idilla, and I will be the last to leave if it ever comes to that. Many pine for our home of old, but not me. The clouds are my refuge now. My days as a guard are behind me, but I know my way around arms and armor. I can patch it all up. Farewell. Welcome to the Idilla Market, Beckoned. Can I interest you in a freshly honed weapon? Our city didn't always have a place among the clouds, but Colossi Ingenuity changed that. While it saves us from the wilds, it is my weapons that save the guard down below. I construct weapons, and then I sell them. Most Colossi are uncomfortable with their hands unfilled, so I endeavor to fill them. Would you like one? A weapon, I mean. Your hands are small. We prefer the spear, for it suits us most in these lands, against this wilderness. But our travels have taken us many places, and I can craft weapons of every shape, and all are equally deadly. Fare you well, Beckoned. The Beckoned! Can I Would you like something to help with flesh wounds? The Terex below the city can be vicious. Not many of my kind are drawn to horticulture, but it teaches me patience and satisfaction. The plants of the teeth are strange compared to those from our original homeland. They require much attention and deft care, and as I've found, tiny hands. You would make a good apothecary, I wager. There are miracles, great and small, to be seen in this world if you know where to look. But the gods had no use for subtlety with us. Look at this city. You can see their love of us. Be careful out there, Beckoned. Can I interest you in some armor? Take heed in these lands, Beckoned. The Jotun, Trolls, and Terex will not spare you, given the chance. Armor is my passion, my livelihood. No one in all of Idilla can provide protection of higher quality. I am reputed with good reason. Though our skin looks like stone, we are but flesh, as any mortal race. We need armor to protect ourselves. There is no finer city than this. Have you seen any other place in armor lore that can match our horizon? Have you found streets more pristine and appealing? You have not, because that is an impossibility.
With my armor, you have nothing to fear. The finest magical craft, guaranteed. Please peruse my wares, Beckoned. Our ancestor race, the Myru, had no skill with magic. You can see how much we've progressed. With our arcane skill, we set this whole city to float among the clouds. But such ability must be tempered with appropriate humility, so the Primos has taught. I do not envy his position. He must lead us after his predecessor's grave mishaps. However, he will bring much glory to our people should his goal be realized. Though magic is new to our people, I can craft fine artifacts for it. I bear my skill proudly. There are those that stand by their spears, but even our greatest warriors acknowledge the worth of magic. I will be here if you need. The finest magical craft. Dealing with gems is a specialty of mine. This city is a promise between us and the gods. But it is also a promise between us and the races of Amalur. My people will grow into the majesty of this city. And with the Empire to come, we will spread the gods' light. Attention to detail is not overly common amongst the Colossi. Much can escape the notice of one so elevated. But the facets and powers of my gems hold so much meaning and power. How could I ignore them? There is a lesson in sage crafting. Even the smallest jewel can turn a common sword into a deadly weapon.
And you return to me. I hope you are finding this work well suited to you. How may I serve? Blessings to you. You must be the one I've been hearing so much talk about. The one that has been beckoned by Athene. You are truly someone special. Special enough that perhaps you could help me with a task that has been of great concern to me. I am a loyal follower of Sikandra and the Colossi Guard. If you walk safely in these lands, it is thanks to us, in part. We have always known that in our darkest times, the gods would send the beckoned. Now that you are here, should I be worried? The city is strong and beautiful. I hope it is the first of many other great colossi works. We came to this land years ago, and yet we are still strangers here. We are strong, and we are loved by the gods. Or so I am told. 
But I cannot shake this feeling that, despite our virtues, we are not strong enough for this land. This place is crawling with vicious beasts, Beckoned. But more dangerous are the Marauders. They were Colossi, but they gave up completely on the gods. They have reverted to barbarism now, and kill any they find. This small shrine acts as a conduit of the gods' power. It uses only small portions of this power, but if we could get it activated... I seek to restore this shrine, so that the patrols of the Teeth of Naros can take use of it. The shrine carries the blessings of the gods, relaying them to special litanies. However, the magics of the shrine have worn out. But it can be repaired. With five of these litanies, the magics of the shrine can be restored. The shrine is a conduit of the gods' blessings. From healing magics to invulnerability, much could be gained for the devoted. But the blessings of this shrine could be relayed to special litanies, so that the magics could be enjoyed from anywhere. The shrine has lost its magic. But it could be restored if we can bring five litanies back to it. Thank you, friend. I would search myself, but I would need to leave my post to do so. And I must keep the watch. Five. Yes, five litanies should hold enough magic to restore the altar to working condition. Gather them, and bring them here. They are scattered throughout the teeth of Naros. I could not say their exact locations, but if you look hard enough, you will find them. Farewell, Chosen One.
It is rare I see one as small as yourself, Beckett. You must be strong, though, if the gods have chosen you. I am a mm, diplomat, so to speak. Though they lack our grace, some of the brutes of this place have in them a shred of reason. The marauders were once thinking, feeling colossi. And the Jotun were kin as well. I must try to appeal to their wisdom. With this city still being incomplete, I have found myself more interested in research than the gods. We have been given the light of Athene, but we should share that with as many as we can. The Teeth of Naros is a very dangerous place. Even those that know the dangers well can still find themselves at its mercy, or lack thereof. We have earned much for our closeness with the gods, but we have a duty to share that connection with all of Amalur. The Jotun have old ties to the Colossi, very old ones. We marshaled their strength for the glory of Athene before we came here. We felt ourselves their custodians, but they viewed us as masters, and their resentment only grew from there. Hello there. You must be the beckoned, the blessed visitor from an unknown land. But perhaps, if you have the strength to reach these lands alone, then you are strong enough to aid me. There were tomes and prayers written in your honor centuries ago. We were forced to leave them behind, but if only you had seen them. Imposing and indignant creatures, we Colossi have managed to drive the majority of them from this vicinity. But those that remain have started digging. For what? I don't truly know only that they seek some means of retribution. I would prefer to stay within the sturdy walls of Idilla, but nothing can really substitute for practical experience, can it? This is the homeland of the trolls, so to speak. I aim to study them, so I must do so in the wild. Idilla is indeed the most beautiful city one will ever see, for the gods themselves inspired it. I manage to do what I can in the way of study. There are few resources available for a student of history out here. But it is important nonetheless. Where would we be if not for historians? How would we have acclimated to this land so quickly? I have been studying the trolls in the area and have seen something of great concern. The trolls have unearthed a number of urns which possess a deadly magic. They are curious, for as long as we have been here, my people have not encountered the like of these urns, nor the ashes they contain. I lack the strength to face the magics of these urns, but Athene is in your thoughts. You could destroy them. 
The trolls believe these urns to be artifacts of the god Naros, but the ashes they contain have a vile, corrupting magic. I fear what may happen if the trolls are left in control of these urns, and the power they contain. Thank you for your help with this. The ashes contained in those urns are too dangerous. There are troll dens scattered around the teeth. It is probably best to start your search there. However, you will be able to feel the dark magic when you are near to one of the urns. Mind the trolls if you can.
Who wanders into my camp? What is this? You are far too small to be a colossi. So it's true then. The beckoned has come. I once tried to forge peace between the Jotun and the Colossi, but as I did, I became enamored of the simplicity they enjoy. I have taken to living in this old camp to try and enjoy it as I can. The heads of the city's inhabitants are as high in the clouds as the city itself, with their talk of religion and righteous gods. I much prefer to stay closer to the ground and stick to my roots. The Jotun have wronged the Colossi in the past, but the Colossi have a shared history with them. It was right to grant them mercy. They act like they are above everything, but they are mud and dust, like everything else in this world. They just aren't decent enough to admit it. Most find it completely inhospitable, but I find that it is not so difficult if you try a different sort of living. Yes, the plants are unpalatable and the beasts cunning, but you can't expect nature to offer you wine and sweets if all you do is ask. This is my home, but not for much longer. I moved out here to reconnect with my roots, you see. My heritage as a giant race. However, my time on my own has come to an end. I am ready to take the next step and go and live amongst the Jotun of the Teeth of Naros. There are only loose ends that need to be taken care of, but I have sworn off Idilla for all days I have left. Karunk was my chief concern with me trying to move in with the Jotun. Now that he is dead, it seems to be the perfect time to do this. The logical step is that I must live among the Jotun. Yes, I do. I have lived on my own in this abandoned Jotun camp long enough. Would you? I will reward you for your help. I will not be needing the coin where I am going. I want for my family ring, currently in the hands of my brother Heliodorus, and to see my journal delivered to my old comrade Darius. But perhaps most of all, I want you to find my wife, Corina. I... I would like you to bring her here to me. You must retrieve my family ring, deliver my journal, and speak with my wife. 
The ring is currently in the possession of my rather odious brother Heliodorus in Idilla. I doubt he will surrender it kindly. He hides it in the living quarters of Idilla. You can try liberating the ring yourself or finding a way of dealing with my brother. Convince Karina to come down from the city and see me. If you could bring her here, then I can talk her into living with me and the Jotun. My journal needs to be delivered to my friend, Darius. He is most likely camped out somewhere in the teeth of Naros. Be quick, Beckoned. I must get to the Jotun soon. Stay safe.
Teeth of Naros. Hello there, Beckoned. Been traveling in the Teeth of Naros? Distus is a dear friend of mine, formerly a peer, but as we tried to build ties with the Jotun, well, things turned. This, this is Histus' research. So that must mean he is preparing to go live with the Jotun. I cannot say I completely agree with Histus's methods, but I can respect his intent with his research. Thank you, Beckend. Wish him the best for me. Be careful. There is nothing safe done.
You are the beckon. Have you come see? The Lycaos is popular no more. Is it my turn to challenge you, Beckoned? I am eager to test you, and myself. I am glad. Tell me, what is the most effective display of strength in the following scenario? On a trip across a vast desert, you and a companion encounter a boulder. It is an airborne boulder, and it crushes your friend. He tells you, leave me, Beckoned. Even were you to lift this boulder from off my battered body, I would be but half a colossi. What would the strong do? That is a most colossi way of dealing with the situation. Your friend would live as but a shell of himself, even if he survived. It is better to leave him. However, what if he is not himself? What if the impact has loosed him of his senses? If you saved him, he might live to regret his original intent. But enough words. Let us dig to the truth of the matter and debate. Prepare yourself. I look forward to a counter argument. An absolutely scintillating debate, Beckoned. Sisters didn't stand a chance. Are you ready for another? Find my disciple Zeno when you are. He wishes to challenge you. Speak to Zeno. He wishes to test his intellect against yours. My disciple Zeno wishes to speak with you. He would be more than happy to debate you. Study hard, Beckham. I almost did not see you. <laughs> <laughs> 